What happens when you pass? 1. Thessalonians 4.13 17. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. 1 Corinthians 15:51, 52. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. John 11, 11, 14. After saying these things, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus has died. The Bible suggests that believers who have died are referred to as asleep and will be awakened through resurrection at the appointed time. These verses emphasizes the temporary nature of death for those who have faith in Christ and the hope of eternal life. The idea of sleep after death is a way to convey that death is not the end for believers, but rather a transitional state leading to resurrection and eternal existence. Those who have passed away remain in a sleep-like state until Jesus returns in his glory and might.